Hi everyone, I'm Jeo Park, a technology teacher in Shinsa Middle School at South Korea. And I'm with my co-author, Hyuk Su Gwon, a professor from Gongju National University. Today, we are going to talk about being a technology teacher in South Korea. I mean, we ask pre-service technology teachers to talk about the technology teacher and technology education in South Korea. Here is the outline for today's presentation. I will start the problem statement on the research topic. I will describe the background for your better understanding about Korean technology teachers education. And I will talk about the research design and findings. Finally, I will describe the conclusion in our study. Our study was started with the problematic situation like insufficient technology teachers. Actually, it has several factors affecting this problematic situation. But we thought it's been a problem. We have four institutes for being a technology teacher it caused a huge shortage. Also, we should think about the quality of the institutes. So we are paying attention to the pre-service technology teachers thoughts on the technology teachers and technology education in South Korea. For your understanding, this section introduces Korean educational system and key issues of Korean technology education in South Korea. Especially, we concentrate on the education for pre-service technology teachers in South Korea. South Korea has a national curriculum. Technology education is one of the national curriculum subjects in the elementary and middle school. But technology education is a selective subject in high schools. We have several ways to be a technology teacher in South Korea. I mean, it's about how to get the technology education teacher's license. We can get from undergraduate course or graduate course. Regardless of the course level, they should take required subjects with required credits. The required learning contents are like foundation of technology education, manufacturing technology, construction technology, transportation technology, information and communication technology, biotechnology. To have a teacher's license, they should take classes in all required areas. Also, to be a technology teacher, they should take national examination. We have six institutes for pre-service technology teachers, uh, Korean National University, Chungnam National University, Taehan University. These three are technology education department in their undergraduate. Gongju National University is Technology and Home Economics Education Department, two like Gyeongbuk National University and Gyeongnam University have a small program for pre-service technology teachers in Home Economics Education Department. As I mentioned before, South Korea has insufficient institute for pre-service technology teachers also, there have been problems in relevant teaching methods like only lecture and low perception toward technology education. It's all from the teaching by unqualified technology education teachers. Over 50% teachers who don't have technology education teaching license have taught technology education. Right, it's a serious problem. 
Korean technology education does not concentrate on the tech education for pre-service technology teachers. Therefore, we should look at the current status of educating pre-service technology teachers. The goal of this study was to investigate pre-service technology teachers' thoughts. Specifically, their motivation to be a technology teacher, educational experience in technology college, and thoughts about technology teachers and technology education in South Korea. This study focuses on four undergraduate programs for pre-service technology teachers, 80 pre-service technology teachers from four different institutes were selected by voluntary consented participation. They are junior and senior, uh, third year and last year students. Finding section will describe the participant responses for survey contents. Uh, we had two questions by this online survey for 80 pre-service technology teachers. First question is like decision-making period to be a technology teacher. In other words, when did they decide to be a technology teacher? A second question is like, who is the critical figure affecting the decision-making? When is your critical decision-making period for being a technology teacher? They answered like during the third year of high school. It means the last year of the high school. They chose the career for a technology teacher due to the stable job situation or opportunities. Who is the critical figure affecting the decision-making? The parents and teachers were dominant figures for the decision-making to be a technology teacher. They recommended technology teachers like because they wanted the respondents to have a stable job position as a technology teacher. The respondents chose the technology teacher's career, not from the internal motivation, but from the external motivation, like stable job status, technology teacher shortage, and critical figures suggestion. Also, we asked them about their experience in the teacher's college. Three questions were like, uh, satisfaction level toward general pedagogy classes, major pedagogy classes, and major technical knowledge classes. As I mentioned in earlier parts, pre-service teachers should take general pedagogy classes, pedagogy classes for technology education, and technical classes for technology education. We investigated the pre-service technology teachers' satisfaction level about them. The respondents' experiences for general pedagogy classes like educational psychology, philosophy, and history of education, curriculum and assessment, instructional design and technology, educational sociology, and so on indicate satisfied. The mean score is about four out of five Likert scale. The respondent experiences for major technical classes like manufacturing technology, construction technology, transportation technology, information and communication technology, biotechnology, and so on indicate satisfied. The respondent experiences for pedagogy classes for technology education, like foundation of technology education, teaching methods for technology education, assessment for technology education, logical writing 
for technology education and so on indicate satisfied. We ask them to answer an open-ended question about the qualification, qualification of technology teachers. Respondents' answers were like knowledge about emerging technologies, communication with students, technological literacy, pride as a technology teacher. They valued knowledge about emerging diverse technologies, the ability to communicate with students, technological literacy, and pride as a technology teacher. Also, we asked them to answer an open-ended question about the obstacle for Korean technology education. The answers were like low perception toward technology subjects, insufficient infrastructure like a laboratory or fund, and low interest in students. Uh, even though they are pre-service technology teachers, they perceive the tough situation of technology education in South Korea. We stated a problematic situation in South Korean technology education like insufficient te pre-service technology teachers college. It caused technology teachers shortage uh, with a strong need for a foundation study on pre-service teachers, this study investigated pre-service technology teachers' thoughts on technology teachers and technology education in South Korea. Pre-service technology teachers chose the technology teachers' career due to the stable employment and their parents' teachers' suggestion. Also, they are satisfied with current curriculum for teachers' colleges. They want more knowledge about the emerging technologies, skills to communicate with students, and uh, pride as a technology teacher. Thank you.